I don't really even know what the name of this neighborhood is. I really enjoyed staying here and I want to give you a tour, so come along. A beautiful view of Rio Paraná. It's obviously not something that I want to do. It makes everything weird and I don't want to make it weird. There's a lot of restaurants, cafes, bars. There's a big supermarket over there. I mean, why else would you be watching this video, right? That's one of the things that I really liked about Rosario is people here are super, super nice. So. Welcome back everybody, Rosario, Argentina. We're here in the corner of Dorrego and Jujuy streets. This is gonna be our last video from here in Rosario. And I wanted to do this video from the neighborhood where we've been staying, like we always do. Give a little tour because I did enjoy this neighborhood. Now, unfortunately, I don't actually know what the name of this neighborhood is. It's kind of in an area that's sandwiched between two, uh, two other neighborhoods. But regardless, I really enjoyed staying here and I want to give you a tour, so come along. Thanks for clicking on the video. If you want to help out the channel and help it grow, I really would appreciate it. Click on the like button down there, the subscribe button, and the little bell next to it to be notified for when new videos drop. It really helps the channel grow because it's gonna help the YouTube algorithm recognize this content and spread it to other YouTube viewers. If you'd like to support the channel monetarily, I would appreciate that as well. You can leave a super thanks by clicking this thanks button here and give a small donation to the channel. I appreciate your support. So back to the video, enjoy. At the river Rio Paraná, we are on Dorrego Street, Dorrego. That's the street that our apartment was actually on. Just a few blocks south of us, behind us, that's where the apartment was. And it was a nice neighborhood. I, I quite enjoyed this neighborhood. The interesting thing is, I don't really even know what the name of this neighborhood is. I don't know, uh, it's kind of an area, at least right where our apartment was, that is sort of sandwiched in between two other neighborhoods. So it's sort of on the edge of both of those. It's kind of hard to tell which one of those neighborhoods you're in uh, when you're right here. But I will tell you the two neighborhoods that it was sandwiched in between, down that way, about, I don't know, eight, nine blocks or so, you get to the edge of Centro neighborhood, where we went and we shopped for our new pair of shoes in, that, in our video. And then this way, uh, to the west, if you go like three or four blocks, you're in the neighborhood of Pichincha, which is a, like, uh, kind of a, a, a hip, trendy neighborhood, lots of restaurants, bars, cafes um, over there along Boulevard Oroño. And Boulevard Oroño is in that direction, like three blocks. That's the boulevard that runs north to south through the city. And that actually runs down through Parque Independencia, where we made our video touring that beautiful central park here in Rosario. That's about eight, nine, maybe 10 blocks south of where we're staying here. So all of these places, Centro, Parque Independencia, and definitely Pichincha, are all walkable from this neighborhood. For Centro and for like um, Parque Independencia, it's a bit of a longer walk. Um, if you were trying to get over to the far eastern side of Centro, over by like the Flag Monument, where we made our first video from here in Rosario, that would be a pretty long walk. That would be like 45 minutes to an hour, probably to walk to get there. But one of the great things about this neighborhood, as we get a beautiful view of Rio Paraná out here, one of the things about this neighborhood that's really great is because it's sort of sandwiched in between all these other neighborhoods that are like um, high traffic destinations, uh, there's a lot of bus lines that run through this neighborhood, like a lot. And the, the thing about Rosario is just like um, Cordoba and like a lot of the other, well, basically all of the other cities outside of Buenos Aires, not Buenos Aires, there's no subway here. There's no metro. There's only buses as far as public transportation. And uh, like Mendoza had a tram that ran along just one street, very limited service. And the rest of the, the metro area was all served by buses. So if you're coming to a city like Rosario, um, you're gonna expect the only public transportation options that you're gonna have are gonna be buses. Luckily, as you can see, one of them right there, the buses, there are tons of them. 
Uh, they run lots of different lines. They run very often. And a lot of them, the lines, come through this neighborhood. And they're coming from, you know, to and from, like up north, along the river here. If you follow the uh, little highway here along the river, you eventually get up to around the aquarium where we made our video about the aquarium. And you head down that way, and you'll eventually end up at the flag monument. And the buses, they run down in through this neighborhood on all these little cross streets. You're pretty much usually one or two blocks away from the corner where the bus is gonna stop on the grid uh, because Rosario uh, is all laid out on a grid, which is really nice and ease, makes it really easy to navigate. But the buses are very, very easy to pick up. You're gonna be within one or two blocks of where it stops here in this neighborhood. And it'll drop you within one or two or usually at the most like three blocks away from wherever you need to go in wherever you're trying to go in other neighborhoods so we head back down this way into uh, the neighborhood away from the river actually we can uh, go down a couple blocks and then head over to uh, Boulevard Oroño like I mentioned the area of Pichincha that neighborhood Pichincha and you can get a feel of what that's like because that, I would say is probably the closest like um, commercial center, uh, like a commercial strip is on Avenida Bo uh, or um, Boulevard Oroño. Now uh, there's some construction going on over here, super loud. Change some audio settings on the camera here. Hopefully that'll be a little bit better audio. You'll be able to hear me a little better and not the construction over there. But what I was saying was over there on uh, Boulevard Oroño, that's like probably the closest like commercial strip there's a lot of restaurants, cafes, bars. There's a big supermarket over there, the Gallega. Gallega supermarket. And that's not to say that there isn't stuff right here around the uh, apartment where we were staying. Um, but there's a lot more over there. And right here, though, around the apartment, like within, I don't know, like one or two blocks, I was able to find pretty much everything that I needed. There are smaller supermercados. There are, like, fruit and vegetable markets like this one. There was a butcher shop, really good butcher shop actually, that had really good um, quality meat that was like right on the corner one block away. And while we stayed in an apartment, because we were staying here for like, you know, a month basically, um, there is also in this neighborhood that was like one block away from the apartment on Salta Street, there is a uh, Holiday Inn Express, like a big hotel. So if you're coming here to Rosario for like a shorter term stay and you're gonna stay in a hotel and you want to stay in this neighborhood you can stay in that hotel it looked really nice when we were walking by it every day because um, like I said it was like a block away walked by it pretty often and it looked very nice so that would be an option for you if you're there you know if you don't want to stay in like an apartment and you want to stay in a hotel there's a Holiday Express right here in this uh, in this neighborhood but also like as you can see, there are shops, we've been walking past markets and you know fruit markets and things like that. There's a pharmacy or there was one around the corner where we were staying. Um, there are like kiosks like this. I was able to find a laundromat, like a uh, lavanderia, a laundry service within like half a block basically. It's like right on the next block uh, from where we were staying. And what else? Yeah, basically, I can't think of anything that we had to uh, that we had to go further than a few blocks uh, to find in that neighborhood, which was really great. And of course, if you watched any of the other videos that I made about uh, the different neighborhoods where we stayed, which actually I put in a playlist, I'll link that playlist in the description so you can check out all the different neighborhoods that we've stayed in. But the running theme uh, in all these videos that I make about the neighborhoods is that uh, they're walkable, they're close to everything that you need, and then also uh, they have good access to public transportation. That's basically what I'm looking for, and this neighborhood had that. One thing that we did walk a little bit further, like I said, three blocks down to Avenida Oroño here, was the Gallega supermarket. Um, there's uh, like there are little supermercados, the little mini 
they're basically like little convenience stores around this neighborhood. But um, for times that you wanted to get, like go to a larger supermarket, like a more, more like the supermarkets that you would find in like uh, Europe or the United States, those th those kinds of things you'd have to go a little bit further. And the closest one was over here on Oroño, the Gallega supermarket. There was another one I saw on the map that was like back the other direction, maybe like four or five blocks um, to the east, sort of like southeast. Uh, and I didn't go to that one. I'm sure it's fine. I just went to the Gallega the first time I needed to, and it was good. It had what I wanted, so the couple times that I needed to go back, I went there instead of trying the other one. But like I said, in this neighborhood, everything super close, walking distance, very cool. And Rosario, like I mentioned maybe in a previous video, like some of the neighborhoods, like a lot of the neighborhoods really sort of feel a lot um, like Buenos Aires. It has a sort of a Buenos Aires vibe just on the surface um, because like the architecture is very similar because they experienced, both cities experienced like construction booms around the same time. Um, and also like the climate is very similar because both of them are right along the river or the estuary in Buenos Aires case. And um, they're not very far apart, right? Like it was like a it was like a four hour bus ride to get from Buenos Aires to here in Rosario. So the climate is basically the same. Um, so it, you, have a, you have a very similar feel, although that's really just on the surface. Like honestly, I will say this, one of the things that I really liked about Rosario was that like people in Rosario um, were super, super nice. And that's not to say that people in Buenos Aires are not nice. I've met plenty of nice people in Buenos Aires. I mean, I've been there twice, right? It's the only city in Argentina that I've gone to um, twice. And I really enjoy it, and I'm definitely gonna be going back in the future. But it is the big capital city, right? It's the big capital city. Everything's go, go, go. Everybody's like rush, rush, rush. So a lot of the times, you just, I don't know. The Life moves very fast there, and sometimes, you don't really have a chance to make the kind of connection that you are able to make with people in some of these like smaller cities um, out in the provinces in Argentina, like Cordoba, like Mendoza, like here in Rosario. And I met some like super cool people here in Rosario. Life is like a little bit more chill here. Everything moves a little bit slower and you sort of have the opportunity to, uh, to meet some people and people here, like I said, have been very, very nice, very sociable. It's one of the things I really liked about Rosario. And you may remember from uh, the very first video we made here, this was a city that like people here in Argentina, right? Like they warned me not to go to this city because it's so dangerous. And uh, there is a bit of truth to that, like the Statistically, Rosario has a higher, like, um, like uh, higher statistics for for crimes for certain crimes, um, but it doesn't mean the entire city is like that. There are parts of the city. I mean, look at this. Look at this neighborhood, right? There are parts of the city that are perfectly fine, and I've been to several of those parts of the city during my stay here, and I've really, really enjoyed it. So, if you get people telling you that. Uh, Rosario is like too dangerous for you to visit. Don't believe them because honestly, there's plenty of stuff to see here There's plenty of places to go in neighborhoods that are safe And as long as you just use common sense like you always do anytime you're visiting a city basically anywhere in the world um, You'll be fine. Yeah, you'll be fine Don't uh, Don't get anything all bunched up about it. You know what I mean? Anyway, here we are Rockefellers. Rock and Fellers. I thought this was Rockefellers, of course, the first time I saw it. It's Rock and Fellers. Anyway, it's like a big bar slash uh, grill restaurant. Did go there once. It was pretty cool. Didn't get it on video. Sorry. Here are some things we did here in, uh, as we head away from Moronio and back towards uh, 
back towards where we were staying. There were some things that I did here in Rosario that I did not get on film. Uh, you know, there's always some things that I do that don't get filmed, of course, you know? I'm staying in these cities for a decent amount of time. There's a lot of stuff that I do that, uh, where it just doesn't seem like it's worth filming. I'm not gonna be able to make a whole video about it. Or sometimes, for example, meeting some people here and having them like show me around the city a little bit uh, or show me like where they live in the city or outside of the city. Like, I don't really film those things because, I don't know, I feel weird about shoving a camera in someone's face like right away. I mean, we're just getting to know each other, you know? So it's obviously not something that I want to do makes everything weird and I don't want to make it weird but we did have some times where people we met some people here in Rosario and they showed us around a little bit and that was really nice as you can see though even away from Avenida or uh, Boulevard Oroño back there um, there are a lot of like little cafes this little guy right across the street here and shops and whatnot around. So the neighborhood where we stayed, our nameless neighborhood that I don't even know, I guess it would be considered Pichincha or Centro, I'm not sure. It's right at the edge, I will tell you, at the edge of the uh, Centro district, right? Like I mentioned in uh, video, which video was it? I don't remember, I mentioned in one of the videos, that uh, Rosario is like divided into districts, but then like amongst those districts, there are neighborhoods. It was the video about Centro, I think. And uh, this is in the Centro district, but Centro, the district is very big. Rosario only has six districts for the whole city. And the city is like, you know, 1.2 million people. So, or 1.3, I don't know, it's a lot of people, over a million people. And it's only divided into six districts. So the districts are very large. This is part of Centro District, but it's not part of the Centro neighborhood, I don't think. The Centro neighborhood, where uh, all the stores were and all the shopping streets and that mall we went to, all of that is over like decently far away. Like you would have to walk for 30 to 45 minutes or even an hour if you wanted to get to the far part of Centro from here. Anyway, getting back much closer to uh, where our apartment was. Here is Salta Street. And along this street, Salta Street, is uh, where I mentioned the uh, Holiday Inn Express is. Actually, let's walk by there just real quick. I'll show you because um, if you're especially if you're from the United States. Um, in the United States, for those who are not from the United States, Holiday Inn Express, that specific brand hotel, is usually a very like, um, it's not a cheap, a cheap like hotel, but it's not like a super nice hotel either. It's basically just a very like, hotel that's designed towards like economy and like business travelers who just need like a nice clean place to sleep. They don't really need a lot of amenities. Um, you usually find them in the United States at least like out, uh, like outside of cities in sort of outer outskirts areas. Like usually like in the parking lot of like a shopping mall or something, right? Like in the outskirts area or you find them like um, right off of an exit off of a highway in sort of a rural area with lower population right so like you don't i don't know i don't know how to explain it you don't you don't really see them that often in um in cities but here we'll walk past it and i'll show you the holiday express actually looks like a pretty nice hotel like not gonna lie it looks pretty nice. I'm gonna go, it's on this side of the street that we're on, but I'm gonna go across the other side of the street so we can get a good shot of the front of the building. 
and you can see what it's like. Because this might actually like, look, if anybody's watching this video from the United States, and I know from looking at my analytics that at least a few of you are, and you're considering coming to Argentina, I mean, why else would you be watching this video, right? And you're thinking about coming to Rosario, this will just give you an idea of what kind of a hotel you'd be able to find here in uh, this particular neighborhood of Rosario. Oh, also shout out to this place, Tomaso. Pizza joint and empanadas, of course. And uh, they have delicious empanadas. I went there a couple times. Very good. So there it is, Holiday Inn Express. It's a pretty nice looking hotel, not gonna lie. I think that would be a very nice hotel to stay in if you were here for, you know, a week or maybe a week or two. Sneak around this tree here. Not bad, right? Looks pretty nice. So there's your option. If you're planning, if you're planning a trip here, you don't want to end up staying in like a apartment Airbnb situation. There's your option right there the Holiday Inn Express. And we're coming back to uh, where we started, actually. We're like, up in front of us here is uh, Dorrego Street. And uh, we head up one more block. We're gonna be, we're gonna be right up by, uh, by the apartment. Right here on the corner, uh, let's see. There's a bunch of buses stop here see on the sign and on this corner like one block up one block over one block that way there's different bus lines that stop on all the different corners so like I mentioned super super accessible by public transportation um, this is the butcher shop that I mentioned right on the corner uh, this place is very very uh, good high quality meat there little kiosk on the corner here and uh, also right here across the street for all of you athletically inclined folks who like to, you know, eat healthy and stay in shape. Basically not me, but if you do, there you go. There's a nice gym right there. So you can hit the gym and stay in shape. And here we are coming back up to the apartment and this is where we're gonna end the video I've seen a little section of the neighborhood here give you an idea what it's like um, I think it's very nice I enjoyed it quite a bit I'm actually not gonna go all the way down to the apartment because there is construction going on like right next door to the apartment and it's a little bit loud so let's say we end the video right here uh, one thing I would like to say I would like to thank uh, three people. I would like to thank Miriam, Bianca, and Marion. Uh, those are the people that I mentioned, who I met, who were kind enough to uh, invite a stranger, a total stranger who speaks pretty bad Spanish, um, to uh, like on a tour of the city. They showed me a lot of different places in the city. They were the ones who actually took me over to see um, the house of uh, uh, Lionel, Lionel Messi that we saw in our video about Lionel Messi and the sports museum. They also took me out to sort of the uh, one of the towns outside of the city to, uh, to meet some people out there and to see their home and it was very very nice. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Like I mentioned that's one of the things that I really liked about Rosario is people here were super super nice. So once again, thank you, thank you very much. If you see this, thank you to uh, Miriam, uh, Bianca, and Marion. Uh, it was very, very nice meeting you. And if I come back to Rosario, in front of that tree there, if I come back to Rosario, which I hope to do sometime in the future, because like I said, I enjoyed it very much, um, I will definitely be hitting you guys up to say hello. Anyway, it's gonna be it. We're done, we're back at the apartment here, just up here. And uh, that's gonna be it. 
that's going to be it for this neighborhood. That's going to be it for this video. It's going to be it for Rosario. And the next time we see you, we're going to be in another city here in Argentina. We're not leaving Argentina, but we're going to be in a different city. And I am not going to spoil the surprise. If you want to know what city we're going to end up in next, you're going to have to stay tuned for the next video. So, see you then.